the salaries for the VPs, the uh, quality control costs, the office costs, the East Region, the West Region. Then we can break out the East Region, who's going to be in charge of the East Region. This is the Vice President. It's going to be held accountable for the East Region, where we have the controllable costs, including the salaries of the department managers, not the salary of the Vice President, because that's not something they control. That's going to be controlled up here, right? But they have the salaries of the department managers, the depreciation, the insurance, we have the department one, two, and three. And then the totals here, of course, are included in the line item in the executive vice president operations. So we can see up here in this report on the, on the upper level of our hierarchy, the executive vice president has more controllable costs, is overseeing more costs, of course, but has less detail than we see down here on the vice president of the regional office. The totals then being our, our line item here. So our line item within the executive vice president operations report then is broken out to the detail in the vice president for the east region report and of course those totals add up there and then if we drill down into the department one then we we would then have the plant manager for department one again here's the summary information for the for the higher up level the vice president of the east region here's the plant manager level where we have now the detail of that department one. They got the direct materials, the direct labor, the overhead, the totals then here. So the more detailed report then being on the lower level and then it being summarized up at uh, the higher level. Now we might want to see this in reverse. It might be 